Hello friends, it's Carol and I'm here for Theme Thursday and today's theme is Farmer's Market or Floppy Hats. I do not have any babies dressed in floppy hats today, but I do have several babies to show you. Um, but I'm at my changing table right now because I gave some misinformation to Lindy at Lindy Bloom's Nursery. She made a comment about the pacifier that I had sent um, to Patricia King. And when I messaged her back, I told her it was a jelly pop but it's actually called Jolly Pop. And I heard about these from Misty at Kids to Cradle um, Nursery, but they're called Jolly Pops. They are on Amazon and it is made in the USA, um, but they're just the perfect size for our little twin A. They come in uh, blue and they come in pink. I'm not sure if they come in other colors, but I wanted to clarify that. Now, I will take you over to the crib to get started with our theme. Okay, here we have little Brody and he is actually wearing the farm. You can't get to the farmer's market if you haven't been to the farm, if you haven't grown your crops or collected your eggs. So he is wearing a little uh, romper that says oink, moo, Cockadoodle-doo, it has a pig, a cow, and a chicken applique on it. It's gray with light blue stripes and then navy around the neck and the sleeves. So there's my handsome little Brody wearing the animals from the farm. So you may find at the farmer's market that there are fresh eggs or some milk or cheese. You might even find some bacon, I don't know. Then we have little Joseph, and he is knocked out, sound asleep, with his Jolly Pop in his mouth. And his little sleeper has chicks on it. It's creamy white with some bright green, yellow, orange, and light blue stripes on it. But right at the top, it says, feed the chickens. It says, round up the sheep. And right here it says milk the cows. So those are all the things that farmers need to do to get some of their wares to the farmer's market. Next to these beautiful boys, we have our twins, Lily and Ruth. And um, Lily Ann has her Jolly Pop in her mouth, but they are both wearing a little white t-shirt with um, ruffles at the sleeves and um, it has strawberry on the front that is made out of hearts and then they have little navy blue shorts that have little strawberries all over them and this time of year here in southeastern Michigan you may find strawberries at the farmers market so let's go see who else is ready for theme Thursday? All right, friends, I have six babies here who are ready for theme Thursday. Two are cheaters from Toddler Tuesday. So we'll start with the cheaters and then we'll go to the others. Here is my little Angelica Joy. She is still wearing her cherry romper dress. From, theme thir or from Toddler Tuesday, and she has her bottle that has the apple on it. We have beautiful Cody Beth, still wearing her ponytails, and she has her strawberry um, swing top on with little navy blue shorts. And then we have Wren and Robin, and they are in coordinating outfits with apples. Wren is wearing, whoops, excuse me, a sleeper with apples all over it. Robin is wearing a onesie and some little pants. And they both have little bare feet. Or actually, 
Robin has little bare feet. Wren's feet are in her sleeper. Then next to those girls, we have Jenny Lou. And Jenny Lou is wearing a onesie that has carrots and um, strawberries, watering cans, a uh, little shovel. So she's doing some gardening to get ready for the farmer's market. She's wearing these long overalls and she is all set to get the gardening done, collect the crops and go to the farmer's market. Lastly, oh, look who it is. Just starting to learn how to stand up is little Peyton and she's wearing a romper that is white with little um, pink spots on it. But right here on her booty is a strawberry. So she is also ready for the farmer's market. So friends, thank you for coming to visit with us today for farmer's market. We wanna say God bless you, have a wonderful day. We know that there are many people out there who are um, dealing with COVID, um, chronic pain, uh, fatigue, depression, all kinds of things. And we are praying for you, friends, and we want you to just know that God is greater than the highest high and the lowest low. Sometimes you may not be able to feel that, but he is there for you. And um, we just want to remind you of that. And remember that his mercies are new every morning. So friends, keep your eyes open for signs, miracles, and wonders. And we will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.